Coming up on our STO Social Spotlight, it's Thought uh, Bubble Day. <laughs> Thursday's Bubble Day with Ashley. And we usually do whatever Wednesday. On Wednesday, isn't that clever? Uh, but because uh, Ashley was on assignment yesterday, we're going to combine Thought Bubble Thursday and whatever Wednesday coming up here in just a little bit. But right now, we're going to tell you why Ashley wasn't here yesterday. She was on assignment visiting none other than Larry Karras. Yes, I was, Bruce. Bruce. And last Friday, Coach Larry Karras coached the 359th game of his career. It was Mount Union's eighth straight appearance in the Stag Bowl. And with the win, the Purple Raiders picked up their 11th national championship since 1993. This group of seniors was so outspoken about not wanting to be the first class in 20 years that didn't win a championship. and they. They, they, they stated that, you know, and I think they put pressure on themselves, but they used that pressure in a positive way. But I worried about how they would feel if they didn't win. And when we won it, it was kind of a relief. It was a good feeling, but I'll have to admit, I was relieved. We were on the field for maybe 10 minutes to, to get the trophy, but in the locker room, when it, it became just the players and coaches, there was a sort of a sense of we, we, did, we knew we could do this, and we did it. And uh, a tremendous feeling of accomplishment, and it was expressed because it wasn't about that trophy. But one of the captains, when asked what it felt like, he said, well, when I wake up every day, I'll wake up knowing that I was a national champion once. That's the feeling that they were guaranteed once the game ended, and it's a feeling more than it's a ring or a trophy or a hat or a t-shirt. Coach Karras has led Mount Union to 332 total wins with just 24 losses. And with such an impressive career, many wonder why he has stayed in Division Three. As a younger coach, I, I thought about that. Uh, I think I, I got to a point where I felt that I knew how to coach. And uh, whether I was coaching high school football, uh, D3 football, or another division, I was confident that the approach I used with uh, players, with student athletes would work. So I never sensed that I had to prove something somewhere else. This is a way of life for us. Mount Union football and what surrounds it is what we do. For our family, uh, it's a part of how we live. So uh, we, and we enjoy it, we like it. And my message to young men who want to be coaches is to share uh, the, the team that they coach with their family and to share their family with the team. Coach Karras has continued to drive expectations for this program and as the most successful coach in college football, he's confident that he's built something at Mount Union that will leave a lasting impression for many years to come. If we work with young men, they'll make a commitment. And if we show them loyalty, they'll show loyalty back to us, as many have and will continue to do. And finally, We'll, we can make them optimistic and hopeful about what they can accomplish if we help them improve their skills and their attention to detail. And that feeling that if I really apply myself, I can do better in football, that applies outside of football, too. So I, those are the things that I think will be the, the in, in my 27 years, those are the four words that, that I have used with the men that have played and the guys that follow me up, I think they'll, they'll keep that, that four-pronged theme alive.